giant. Freaking giant. There he's oh those are legit the biggest carp I've ever seen. Oh something just hit it. Oh that's a that's a bass or something. I got him, got him. I just had a bass. There he is again, there he is again. Hey, drop it down here. There's like a crappie or something. There he is. Hey, drop it. There's a couple of them. Got him. Oh, that's a crappie, crappie. Yep, crappie down there. Oh, got him. Big crappie. Oh. All right, I'm getting a new hook. This one sucks. All right, that's gonna get him right there. Eat it. No, it's like three and a half feet, four feet. Yeah, he's right there. A carp or? Oh, got him, smoked it, big one. Look at that, holy crap. Well, here we go, folks. First fish of the day, first fish of the trip, a giant crappie, and we've missed, I saw a largemouth, carp, and I think that's just it. Crappie, largemouth, and carp. That's the first one that committed to it. Giant crappie. First fish of the trip. We're gonna let him go though. Wow. We love it. Thank you, buddy. That's what got him right there. White curl tail grub tipped with a night crawler. Got him. Another crappie, bigger, bigger. Wow. You got him? Got him doubled up, folks. Doubled up. What is that? Oh, bluegill. Doubled up. Big old crappie and a giant bluegill. Holy crap. Look at that, my friends. That is what this is all about. That might be the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. All right, first double of the trip. Gill and crappie. Yeah. All right, folks, proper intro now. As you can see, we're already off to a good start. But me and Grace just decided to come out in the middle of nowhere, do some fishing for the next day, day and a half. Pretty sure no one else knows about this spot. It's a super secret spot. Yeah, right when we walked up, we just brought our stuff down to the docks here. And we saw a bunch of like 20 pound carp. Dropped down a curl tail grub, had a couple look at it. And then we've seen crappie. I saw a largemouth. And dude, we're already off to a good start, but we got striper, walleye, catfish, uh, pretty much anything you can think of in here. We're gonna spend the night, fish tonight, through the night, and then in the morning. Cook some fish, cook some food, should be fun. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll kind of give you guys a layout of everything we brought later, but we picked up some night crawlers and I just tipped a little curl tail grub with one and that seemed to work pretty well. Then in here, we also brought some mussels and we're thinking we just drop those down a little bit later tonight, see if we can get any striper. And then we brought chatterbaits, rapalas, spoons, a bunch of good stuff, and even flies. As you can see, Grayson just caught that bluegill with a fly. So we'll just drop her down again see what else we can find i'd love to get one of those massive carp yeah we caught a couple crappie and a bluegill been here for like 10 minutes oh got him there we go another crappie oh shoot it's tangled up there we go got him these are some stud crappie. There we go, you guys. Third, what is that? Third crappie of the day for me, heck yeah. Um, Do we want to keep this? Why not? Why not? Heck yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, are we keeping them in this red cooler? Should probably knock this guy out. I'm gonna stick him real quick right here in the head. Toss them in there with the muscles. There we go. Get back down there. There's not a ton of fish swimming through. That was the only the third crappie. We've been here like an hour. We haven't really seen any more carp swim through. Oh, I just spoke too soon. Another one. Another one. Maybe a bluegill. But yeah, we're just not seeing a whole lot of fish. We haven't seen any more carp. We've only seen a couple crappie here and there, and then we both think we saw at least one largemouth. Oh, my bad. 
Got him. Oh, that was a largey. Yo. Yep, large mouth. Just lost a large, you guys. Dang it. Or a small mouth, but it was a bass. Oh, right there, right there. He's next to my grub. Right there. Yeah, they're they're shallow. Oh, and there's two looking at yours. He's got him. You got him. Nice. Another big gilly. So we got a crappie and a gill so far that we're gonna keep. That is a giant. What is it? Okay, I'm gonna come over there. Yeah. Good crappie. Holy cow. <laughs> Daddy, that's a stud. Holy cow. Heck yeah, dude. I've been chasing him for like 20 minutes. I think this grub is just slightly too big. Yeah, we'll try the five foot. Get a 20 pound carp on this baby. Oh, dude, trout magnet. There we go. This might be the ticket. All right, trout magnet, baby. They are not special. Look how bright that is. Yeah. I'm able to see that clear on the bottom. Is that a bluegill? Are you kidding me? Come on, eat it. Got it. Nope, crappie. Little crappie. There's a bigger one down there. Get this guy back quick. Nice. We'll throw him away over here. Don't want to scare the other ones. Yep, got him. Crappie. Holy, I was not expecting to catch. I was just thinking we were going to get some smallmouth and striper. Yeah. Another pretty fish. Oh, you got a big old crappie coming to you. Let's see if he'll go for my trout magnet. Let's see who he wants. He's just eyeing yours down. Bro, he doesn't want either. Oh, yep, he got it. That's that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Holy cow. Nah. Oh my gosh. Is this one bigger than yours? This is a four pound line. There we go. Nice, Thank you. Oh yeah. Sweet. Ah, uh, crappie. Black crappie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, crappie, crappie, crappie. I still haven't caught a bluegill, have I? I don't think so. I've just caught crappie. We need something other than a panfish. Let's get a real sport fish on here. Oh, there we go, got him. Wait, what is that? What is that? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. I don't, oh, a small mouth, big old smolly. Big smolly, folks. Yes. Oh, no, no. He's getting around that cable. He's getting around that cable. Four pound test, boys. That's right where I lost a bass earlier. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, baby, That's that a, is a huge smallmouth. Small Dude. You want a sunset fish picture? Oh, yeah. With a tinder profile? There we go, guys. First bass of the trip. First, like, good sport fish, other than bluegill and crappie. That's probably a two, two pound smallie, two and a half pound smallie. Beautiful fish, right at sunset. We're gonna let him go. I don't want to keep this fish. No. All right, buddy. There he goes. There you go. Yes. And that's all it took right there. Little yellow neon trout magnet on my five foot ultralight with four pound test and that Carbon X spinning reel. All right guys, so the plan, uh, it's getting kind of dark as you can see. We're gonna get a couple rods set up with some mussels on jig heads and just kind of leave them on the bottom. Maybe get a catfish, a striper, hopefully, and just keep doing what we're doing. Toss some jigs, maybe some chatter bait, see if we can get any fish to hit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie a jig head on here. Now we're gonna take a mussel here, frozen mussel. He's been sitting in a freezer for three years now. And usually we'll uh, tie some rubber bands around them just because they don't stay on the hook well at all. But we totally forgot rubber bands, couldn't find any. So we're just hoping these hold up well enough. And then we got some six pound fluorocarbon with my Carbon X 
3000 size spinning reel, PC fun. Link in the description. And we're just gonna drop it down to the bottom and keep an eye on our Vexlar here. So we're in about 56 feet of water, 56.3. There I am. All right, so I'm gonna leave this about a foot or two off the bottom. Hopefully we can get a catfish or something coming up to it. Got him. Another gill. Keep that sucker. Nice. <laughs> oh, I got one too. Oh, big old crappie. Bro, I cannot catch a bluegill. I've only caught crappie. Still have yet to get a gill. Nice, hefty feller. Sick. Bro, this is so much fun. Here we go, it's crappie number like five for me. I don't even know. Sweet. Well, I can safely say this is the best day of crappie fishing I've ever had. Size and quantity. Oh, there we go. Oh, little guy. Uh, no. Now the crappie. Crappie. Well, something just came and looked at our stuff. Huh. Oh. See you later. Wish you could use crappie as bait. By the way, folks, if you want to check out any of the reels that I'm using, Carbon X and the Viper spinning reels, I'll leave them linked in the description below. I got a promo code you guys can use as well. BNT15, get you 15% off. Save money. Oh, that was a real, oh, got one. Bruh, oh, there's my bluegill. There's my first bluegill. Yee. Wow, these are very dark colored bluegill. Nice and orange. Check that out, folks. We have at house, right? Ow! Well, this is my first gill of the trip. I'm surprised it took me this long to get one, but I'll take it and we're gonna we're gonna toss him back. Later. Sometime later. Alright guys, a little update for you. We have not caught a fish in like an hour. It's completely dark and we've just been chilling. Grayson's actually over there talking to his girlfriend on the phone, so. I'm being ignored. But in the meantime, while we wait for some more fish to swim through, I'm gonna fillet the two bluegill and crappie we kept. Look at that thing. I mean, that's just a stud of a crappie. And then we got a couple bluegill. So, we're gonna fillet these guys up and cook them up. All right, so we actually didn't do too bad. It's some of my best work when it comes to filleting bluegill and crappie. That's the big bluegill. And those are the crappie fillets. I did really good with them. Now we'll cook them up. You got one? There we go. Oh, of course. Oh, it's a giant. What is that? Oh, it's a striper <laughs> on a spoon. Did you even have any bait on there? <laughs> That's the lure I'm using. That's the fish. Well, folks, we found the striper. Yeah, we got the striper, boys. <laughs> on a spoon. All right, I'm going to pull out the grill here. We are going to cook some crappie. Fish on. Oh, fish on. What it, uh, oh, striper, striper boys. See, they are down there. Yeah, They're down there. I gotta get a picture of that for my dad. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I think for these bluegill and crappie, we're just gonna pan fry them in some butter and seasoning, nice and simple. Just gonna set the pan on there. Oh, fish on boys. Another baby striper. That's freaking insane, dude. What the heck? We're catching striper. That's what we asked. We're getting what we asked for. It's kind of cool. They are kind of cool fish. If 10,000 people like that, I'll get a life-size tattoo of it on my leg. What? We've got here some Kinder's Cuban blend with citrus and garlic. So we'll season the bottom of the pan. Over here, grab a fillet of crappie. We'll lay them in there, and we'll grab some bluegill as well. There we go. Season them up. All right, 
looks pretty good. I would try to put the lid on there, but that might work. work. Yeah, that'll work. Just leave the handle in there and trap a lot of that heat in. Oh, that's sizzling. That's sizzling. It actually smells pretty dang good. Where'd my fork go? A uh, crappie's already flaking apart. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to flip it without it just falling apart. The bluegill's a little more firm. I can just kind of flip that guy. There we go. Alright, we'll give it another couple minutes. It should definitely be down. Oh yeah. Alright, well the crappie kind of just fell apart. Like it usually does. And then the bluegill kind of stayed intact somewhat. actually pretty good. Alright, here's the bluegill. Whoa. That's kind of weird. Try that bluegill. Good or bad weird? Um, Which one's what? Definitely not as good as the crappie, the bluegill. Oh, it is really firm. Very firm. I don't know what. I've never had a bluegill like that. And then the crappie is like really soft. Crappie is definitely better. But that bluegill is little. I don't know. A little weird. It's like so rubbery. The next day. Well, good morning, guys. Last night after we cooked that crappie, uh, we stayed there for another couple hours. Caught my first striper. Well, guys, I finally caught a striper. Yeah, and a couple little crappie here and there. And then we did a little truck camping. Don't know if we're allowed to just sleeping in the parking lot here. This morning, we're gonna try to catch some more fish, hopefully some more smallmouth. And I think it'd be cool to get a big carp. That's kind of my goal, so. We're gonna head back down to the dock, catch some fish, go from there. Oh, there's one. Got it. Oh, that was a large mouth. Dang it. Gray, I just lost a large mouth. About a pound. I've seen a couple. There we go, big gill. Big gill. Blue gill. Eat. Here we go, guys. First fish of the morning. Big old blue gill on the trout magnet. Already lost a large mouth. I probably would have rather have caught the large mouth, but this is all right. Oh, another one on the drop. Another gill. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. One of the big ones. Yeah, I lost a largemouth a little bit ago though. Yep. And we've seen some monster crappie. He, he had like a three inch swim bait on and they were swiping at it. Like really big crappie. Oh, uh, we, we did keep a few last night. Um, I want to keep walleye and striper. And I'm so smart, I couldn't tell you the difference. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Another. I wouldn't know what they were. Yeah. That, that was fast. Yeah. Same fish. Another bluegill, yep. Oh. Yeah, this is a nice bluegill. That looks like an orange one. Yeah. I don't see it. They're getting ready to spawn. Oh. When they get ready to spawn, they get darker colors. Oh. There's a crappie or a largemouth. There we go. Oh. That's not what I saw. The bluegill. Nice, number four. Oh, there we go, another one. Oh my gosh. There's a big school of bluegill down there. Crazy. Yesterday it was crappie, today it's gonna be bluegill. I mean, for that being your average size bluegill, that's pretty good. They're a little deeper, I think. That one was like 10 feet. Oh, there we go. On the drop. On the drop. Another bluegill. There we go. Another one. This one's a little nicer. Another gill. Uh, 
bluegill. I don't know if there are pumpkin seed in here. There are. I don't know what pumpkin seed are, honestly. They're like a bigger gill. They're more green, though. There's got to be a big bass cruising through eventually. Or a walleye. Oh, hooked up. Ass. Hooked up on a smallmouth, folks. Um, no, it was a smallie. I just turned my camera off like a minute ago. And we came over next to the rock wall here. And, of course, I dropped down. We get a smallmouth. I'll grab him. Still on that, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, just on that trout magnet. Oh man, this is a good smallie. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, finally. Not just bluegill. Nice. Wow, that is <laughs> not as big as the one yesterday. Just on that little yellow trout magnet, man. Crazy. Catches everything. Here we go, folks. First bass of the day. I lost a largemouth about an hour ago. So there we go. See you later. Here, I'll make another cast right here where I caught that bass real quick. shallower now it's probably right there oh there he is look at that he's eating stuff right off the rocks off the rock wall he's like sucking the wall it's gonna go right down to him maybe I can land it right in his mouth this is our chance <sighs> folks there's a carp like three inches away from my jig and he's eating Or just wait for him. I just wait. For oh, oh, oh. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Huge carp! Huge carp! Oh baby, here we go! Here we go! Oh, that's a 20 pound carp! <laughs> He's so lazy. Look at that. He's not even fighting. This is still gonna take a while. I'm shaking, man. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh no. Hold on. No, no. As long as he can stay out here. Where'd he go? Right there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, he's gonna see me. Do that. Oh, Oh no, 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 no. Is there a cable under there? Yeah, probably. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's right here, right here. Okay, okay. Dang it. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm shaking. Oh, okay. Four pound. Four pound line. Okay, here he is. Nope. Oh, shoot. I'll try to guide him in right here. Oh, no. Dang it! I just don't want to knock him off. Dang it! He's right there. Okay, I'm gonna get him right here. Right here. Dang it. He, he don't, he sees that man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got my drag really loose because I'd rather just tire him out than try to horse him and break off here. So he can take all the drag he wants. So long as he doesn't get wrapped around the cables down there. This is a 
20 pound fish. Oh, you almost had it. My GoPro's at like 5% battery, so we gotta land this guy. Okay. He's like not even like super strong, he's just heavy. He's done, he's done, he's done. Yes, <laughs> holy crap. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is the biggest carp of my life, easy. Oh, that's every bit of like 13, I don't even know. What do you think, 12 pounds? 12, 15 pounds. <sighs> that's insane. <laughs> that's what got him right there, trout magnet. Here we go, folks. This kind of caps off the trip right here. This is what I wanted to catch. There you go. Yeah. Man. I'd probably rather catch this over a four pound striper, if I'm being honest. This is way cool. On a trout magnet. He was like going along the side of the rock wall there, eating stuff. And I just tossed that trout magnet like five inches in front of him and, and waited. And he slurped right up. That's it's 10 pounds at least. I don't know. It's over 10 pounds. <laughs> Insane. And we're going to get him back. All right. There he goes. Shoots right off. Yes. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. It's kind of getting a little windy out there, and the fish weren't really biting that great this morning. Uh, although, we did get that like 15 pound carp, which really caps off the trip. I'm happy with it. But yeah. A lot of fun, caught a lot of crappie, a lot of bluegill this morning, a couple little striper. All in all, fun time. We're going to definitely be back out here eventually. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.